Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be showing you some effects that you can use in your edits to help make them look better or more advanced or however you want to like describe it. So yeah, let's just get started. So first things first, on your clip you're going to need to duplicate it. You can duplicate it by tapping and hitting right here and then select duplicate. Okay, and then you're going to want to select your first layer, go to move and transform, and then go to the scale feature. Add one keyframe at the beginning and go to the end of your clip, add another keyframe, and zoom in, in as much as you want. I'm going to zoom in until about right here. Now you're going to want to hit this arrow right here and go to blending and opacity. Add a little keyframe right here and turn it all the way down to zero. Now go back to the beginning of your photo, add another keyframe, and turn the opacity back up to 100. As you can see, this made a ghost effect on the photo. This is one of my favorite effects ever, and you will see the next effect is going to be incorporated into ghosts, like the ghost effect. Is but I've been using these on all my edits lately, and it just makes it look like I put so much more time and effort into it. It just makes it look so much cooler. But yeah, anyway, this is the first effect. This next effect is kind of like a version of that ghost effect but in a different way also ignore how it says soft transition went up here i had a youtube video idea but then i got rid of it and i don't feel like changing that title so what you want to do is go ahead and duplicate the photo just like you did in the first one go onto this layer go to effects and type in mirror this is going to flip your photo in the opposite direction now you can do this you don't have to but i like doing this you can zoom in the photo a little bit just like this i don't want this like weird part showing so don't zoom it in so much if you're going to do that but what i'm going to do is after i do that we're going to go to blending and opacity and we're just going to add a keyframe at the beginning go to the end of your clip and add another keyframe and turn it down to zero as you can see it looks like this i'm going to add a graph onto that because that is really slow and i don't like the look of that so we're just going to add this graph on and it'll end up looking like this now another thing i like to do with this effect you can leave it like that but i like to add on a tint so i'm going to go to color and light and then i'm going to go to saturation and vibrance then i'm going to turn the saturation all the way down I'm going to add a keyframe on that, and then I'm going to go to where the photo is finally at its normal state, and then I'm just going to turn the saturation down to zero. You can add on a keyframe for this if you want, it's not necessary, but this is the second effect. I really like the look of these, they just look so cool. They look like you spent a lot of time doing it, but it literally takes two seconds. So yeah. So this next effect I like to do when I'm overlapping transitions, so like when I'm not completing a full one and I just kind of throw another transition clip on top of that. So just pretend this photo right here in the middle is a completely different picture. What I would do if I was overlapping this and I wanted more movement in the background, I would go to the bottom clip right here, I would go to move and transform, and then I would just scale in my clip. So I would just add a keyframe right here, and about right here I'd add another keyframe, and I would zoom this photo in just like this and i would move it all the way to the end i would zoom in a lot so it looks like there's still some movement going on let me go ahead and adjust this first clip because i did not get rid of that opacity fade so let me just go ahead and fix that so as you can see when I do this transition right here, it looks like so much more movement is going on in the background, but it's literally just zooming in. And if I weren't to have that, it would just look like this. As you can see, it would be pretty boring because the only thing that's moving is the first clip. But if you add it on the background, it'll look so cool. And if you want, you can even add on a blur, which is what I like to do a lot of the time. So go to blur and add on inner blur turn the strength to zero add a keyframe at the beginning and at the end and on the second keyframe blur it as much as you want and as you can see it's like doing multiple things at once and this is why i just love this effect so much i don't even know if you can call it an effect more like a tip on what to do for your edits but all i can say is that this has helped me especially when i'm upset with the way my edit looks and when panning is not enough movement so yeah this last effect is also one of my personal favorites, and this is an opacity fade. Now, this really works perfect if you have two photos, like selfies like these right here, where they're in the same room, the same outfit, just like different positions. It works so well with it, I don't even know how to explain it. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to have your two photos layered like this, and you're going to want to have this second photo on top trimmed a little bit, so it's not taking up the whole thing. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to blending and opacity. You're going to turn the opacity down to zero, add a keyframe. Go to the very end of your clip, add another keyframe, and then turn the opacity back up. So as you can see, it's fading right into the next picture, and it looks so nice. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that graph because that joke is just not it. But this is what it'll look like, and it looks so nice and cool. And I use this on like so many of my edits, whether it's like a clip in the background or just the whole transition itself with turbulence. It looks so good every single time without fail. So yeah, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down below any tutorial requests that you guys may have. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye!